Ah, yes, the good old car bomb. They've uh, put many of these in a bunch of Call of Duty games, and you know, you just uh, <laughs> sometimes you can't help but get killed by them a lot. I, I'm really a magnet to those things for some reason. I just get killed by the most random things like exploding barrels or cars. I don't know about you guys, but uh, <laughs> that happens to me all the time. At least happens you know, only once every one or two games. <laughs> It's just, uh, you gotta learn to laugh at it, man. It's just, um, I understand why they put them in the game. They just want to make it, you know, have a more wild factor. So, I'm completely chill about that, you know. It's fun. And it's funny whenever I do kill people. I've gotten, uh, double kills and all kinds of crazy stuff from, um, random barrels exploding or whatever. And, uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, you get a good laugh at it whenever you're just walking around the map, um, and then suddenly you get a double or triple kill. And, uh, I don't know. But um, enough about that. Uh, I want to talk about a few things today. This is um, going to be a, quite of a long commentary. I mean, it's going to be around, I think, 10 minutes long. Um, the gameplay is just that long because um, my friend and I were, you know, the, you know, the guy that I play with all the time and um, face off in the 2v2. Uh, this is just, again, another gameplay from um, pretty much uh, the session. You know, I played like a two or three hour session um, at times or whatever, and this is... Uh, just another video I got from it, and um, I thought it was a pretty good gameplay, so I decided to put it up and uh, throw some commentary over it. Uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about the gameplay, uh, you know, if you enjoyed it. I try to um, make my gameplays um, as rush-heavy as possible, because I know a lot of people in the Call of Duty community um, really like seeing that, and shotgun gameplays as well. Uh, something about it, they're just so fun to watch. I don't know why, but, um, <laughs> uh, like, uh, Sandy Ravage was um, one of my first commentators I started watching that was like a, um, he would put up like 100 kill games and stuff like he would put up these crazy scores with shotguns and uh, submachine guns or whatever and he was just a beast at Call of Duty he still is a beast at Call of Duty um, I don't really see him playing it much unfortunately but um, there's a there's plenty of others like uh, Dying Soldier if you haven't heard of him um, Fear Crads is really good uh you know, there's plenty of uh, YouTubers out there that are really good with, um, like, rushing. Like, whenever they rush, it just works for, you know, whatever reason. And uh, I believe I'm a pretty good rusher. Um, for the most part, it usually works out pretty well for me unless um, I'm versing people that have, uh, or that are using really high-tier guns like, uh, you know, the MP7 or the PP90 or the ACR. You know, there's a few other guns. Most of you know what I'm talking about with uh, high-tier weapons. But, um... You know, that was one thing. But uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, I usually don't bring this up. And I'm not a negative commentator, but I want to talk a little bit about um, hatred and stuff. And, you know, the, I'm, you know, keeping this as positive as I can. Uh, I've just seen a lot of hate going around on YouTube and all that stuff lately. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not going to mention any YouTubers' names because I'm not, you know, I don't flow that way. It's just not my style. But, um... You know, I've just seen a lot of hate on YouTube lately, and, uh, I don't know, I mean, I usually ignore hate and stuff, and, you know, some stuff's gotten really out of hand lately, and again, I'm not going to mention names, but, uh, I've seen, like, people, they've made videos about, uh, you know, just stuff they're going through, just because of, um, all this hate and, you know, whatever, and I mean, I don't know, I mean, uh... I try not to take anything seriously usually. I mean, like, I'm a pretty relaxed commentator. I usually don't, like I said, take anything, uh, you know, with a grain of salt. I mean, it's like, I mean, uh, and I'm not, I don't want you to think I'm, you know, sad or depressed about this. It's not, you know, I mean, it doesn't bother me that much, but I just wanted to talk about it because, um, you know, it's been brought to my attention. And, uh, I feel really bad for some of these um, other commentators that has been getting hate toward, you know, thrown toward them or whatever. And uh, I just want to make a commentary about it because, um, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, some of the stuff they are going through, they, you know, there's a bunch of them that get a lot of hate out there. And I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, everybody's got their different opinions and they can say what they want and do what they want because uh, this is the Internet. And, um, you know, obviously you pretty much have freedom of speech. And. You know, there's uh, there's obviously benefits and consequences of that, uh, good and bad, of course. Um, you know, people aren't afraid to say their opinion a lot of the times, especially on the internet, because um, I mean, obviously it's the internet. The internet's limitless, limitless, 
Got a little bit of tongue tied there. I apologize, but uh, sometimes it just happens when you know you do commentaries. Uh, a lot of people understand that, but um, I might edit that out. I'm not sure, but um, I might leave it because it's kind of funny. But I mean, you know, back on subject. I mean, uh, I just um, I wish people would kind of just not take stuff so seriously. Uh, you know, I mean, I know that's really difficult to do because sometimes people just you know, or uh, their personalities. Everybody's got a different personality. Uh, everybody's different, you know, everybody gets, you know, set off by different things, and then, like, some things just, um, irritate people, or, um, you know, anger them in some way, and, you know, uh, like I said, people just, you know, they roll differently, and that's just how they are, and, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that, it's just, um, I wish people would just kind of relax more, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm the most relaxed guy ever, I mean, I'm not, and I'm not gonna act like I am, but, um, I mean, I just, uh, I don't know, I mean, I just think the world would be a lot of a better and more enjoyable place to be in, you know, if people were just uh, not so angry all the time, uh, and not just for my own benefits of not, you know, having to deal with people that are angry, but other people's benefits as well, I mean, everybody benefits if, you know, everybody's, you know, really relaxed and not angry with each other, I mean, you know, it just makes sense, it makes the world go around, I mean, if, you know, you're happy, you know, and other people are happy around you, it's just a um, great situation to be in. Uh, you know, that's why I really try and surround myself with um, really cool people that I've met, especially I'm um, starting this YouTube thing. And even before, I have met some pretty cool people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mention a commentator, a few um, some names, because um, these are some really cool commentators. You should really think about checking out their content because um, they have some really good content. But um, Loyal Patriot, is uh, he's actually um, on my friends list, and he is a really cool commentator, guys. Uh, this guy, you know, he... He's not afraid to speak his opinion, and he's a really positive commentator. And like, uh, he's just a really cool guy. I mean, uh, I, you know, if you watch his commentaries, you'll see how great he is. And um, he has kind of a style of gameplay like mine as well. Actually, I pretty much um, tried to mimic, you know, obviously Sandy Ravage's gameplay with shotguns and all that crazy stuff. I just try and put up really good scores with, uh, you know, uh, close range weapons. And uh, <laughs> you see me uh, do -si do that guy out there. I have no idea how I lived through that. I think he uh, missed quite a few bullets, and my teammate just uh, mopped him up right there. But, you know, um, well, for a uh, little patriot, though, you know, going back on the subject here, he's a, uh, you know, he's really cool, and he does put up really good games, at least. Um, you know, I think he should give himself more credit because he's, <laughs> he's really good at Call of Duty, and he doesn't really – uh, I mean, he said before that, you know, he's average at Call of Duty. I'm like, no, dude, you're <laughs> you're really good. You know, he's probably been playing Call of Duty for many years. He's probably been playing longer than I have. I mean, I would have to say I've played a long time, uh, especially in Marvel for 3. I don't know. Um, it's, a lot of people, again, I, I've said this before, people hate this game. A lot of people just get frustrated with it. I don't know, I've just been having a lot of fun in it lately. I guess it's kind of like, you know, what I said about just being relaxed and not taking it so seriously. I mean, you know, uh, you can have a lot more fun in life if you just, you know, chill out a little bit and just, uh, you know, not think the worst is happening, you know. And uh, just trying to have fun, you know, any way you can for the most part, unless, you know, it's uh, at other people's expense, of course. I don't really approve of um, people having fun at other people's expense. That's not really... Uh, that's not really cool. I mean, I'm not hating on you or anything. It's just uh, that's not how I roll, and I just don't think it's uh, I don't think that's how you should roll either. So I mean, the bottom line is here: if anyone, you know, if anyone can learn from this, that would be great. Um, is to just you know respect each other, guys. I mean, after all, this is what you know, community, uh, the Call of Duty community, and the community on YouTube. You know, it's all for fun. It's supposed to be a fun activity, hobby, or whatever you call it. And, you know, just to share with people, you know, other people's opinions and content, um, gameplays, or whatever. And, uh, you know, it that's what YouTube was intended to be when it was first invented. And uh, I don't actually recall when YouTube was first invented. But, um, you know, they, they intended it to be fun. And that's what I, I try to make YouTube, you know, into be. I, I really try and make it entertaining. And, uh, you know, just, you know, talk to other people that are really chill. But, uh, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this commentary. I just, you know, really wanted to talk about a few things. But um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and go. I uh, hope you guys have a great day.